What's going on folks? All right, this is a tool I've been really excited for to finally get to use. This is the Makita 18 volt subcompact six and a half inch circular saw. Guys, you know how much, um, if you follow me, you know how much I like the old Porter cable six and a half inch, but we're stepping up, we're moving up to the big leagues here. But seriously guys, this, this is a, a fine saw, obviously, nowhere near the Makita um, it's not priced the same way um, you know this is a $45 circular saw um, you know this has a lot of features that this saw doesn't have most important being there's no fuel gauge on this saw at all all right um, you know this might be one of the only porter cable tools that you know a lot of these porter cable tools have that fuel gauge kind of on the tool to kind of let you know what's going on since they're awesome batteries don't have any type of gauge on them either you know tepco chemo batteries actually have fuel gauges on them so porter cable it's 2019 let's get a fuel gauge on your batteries but you know obviously the big difference is that you're going to find is powered you know this is fine for cutting two by fours and stuff you know half inch plywood but, you know, when I tried to make some bigger cuts with it, it started to struggle a little bit. Obviously, I'm not going to have that issue with the Makita. Uh, and obviously, the big difference also, this is a brushed circular saw. And you got a brushless circular saw with the Makita. All right. Um, and check it out. We got a fuel gauge. And their batteries have them too. Oh, yeah, baby. So, obviously, a big upgrade over the porter cable um you know just looking at it, one thing i want to let you know guys that i found out here is that this is supposed to come with a included dust nozzle accessory all right mine did not come with one and it kind of stinks because i wanted to use the dewalt extractor the flex vault but i am going to do it you know i film these videos over like a week period sometimes two sometimes two months now obviously it's not going to be that long with this but I'm going to get that dust nozzle somewhere, so we'll have that in this video at some point, hopefully. But you got a aluminum base, okay, right here. So that also helps the um, the weight. Now, this weighs, I believe, 6.4 pounds, all right, with the battery, all right, with a 2-amp-hour two, two battery, all right. Um, so, I mean, again, you know how much I like the Porter cable. This is lighter than the porter cable and you got to remember that's kind of made you know cheap it's 49 dollars all right so th this isn't made cheap you like i said you got an aluminum base you got a um a magnesium uh, blade cover here so they're using top quality materials and it's still light all right so we're going to check this out uh but really comfortable like i said you got that gauge right there um you know it's obviously a circular saw um i'm gonna go over um the adjustments uh, with the cuts shortly um comes with a nice 24 tooth blade all right uh general purpose obviously you can put any blade you want on this okay 40 tooth 60 tooth diablo uh dewalt milwaukee whatever all right as long as it's six and a half um but it's something that I'm really excited to use. Um, the one thing now, guys, as, as you've noticed, and it's, it's kind of important, especially if you're maybe interested in the porter cable. You see that the blade is on the left side with the porter cable, and with the Makita, it's on the right side. All right, so a lot of people... Um, they want that blade on the right side, all right? So another great thing that Makita did is, you know, a lot of saws still have it on the left. Um, you know, is it a big deal for me? Eh, you know, you, you, you can uh, weather the storm with it on the left side, but definitely an advantage um, for the right-handed people to have the blade on the right side. So, um Cool little saw. We'll get it in action and we'll talk some more about it.
just a quick little unboxing here. Also quick, if you do have Rigid's 18 volt wet dry vac, the three gallon, the older model, it fits on here perfect with the dust nozzle with the Makita. As you can see, you can make it work with the Milwaukee. All you need is a zip tie. Just, you know, make it as tight as you can and it works. But obviously it's a much better fit with the Rigid nine gallon, and three gallon hoses now this is a different hose right this comes with the three gallon 18 volt rigid wet dry vac the nine gallon the hose really is not as nice as this it's that you know tug along is what they call it um but that also will fit on here just to let you know